How's it going? This is my Mackie 1604 VLZ Pro. This was given to me because it gotten pulled out of a room that it had sat in. And it was a mixing room, but the primary use of this poor console was it was used as a lunch desk. Uh, when I got it, it was fairly well caked in food crumbs nastiness. Um, so I brought it home and I cleaned it. I took this entire uh, the entire deck apart, the mic inputs and the power supply portion, I have not taken apart because uh, in the original configuration, it was mounted up underneath. So it stayed relatively clean. But this portion here, na nast na nasty. So first phase was I brought it home and I cleaned it. And the positive side of that is it looks good. I straightened most of the faders. Downside is I've got a lot of issues. And I have to put my headphones on so I can hear it with you. I have some uh, music tracks looping or a music track and which I want you to hear what's going on now what happened was and I apologize for the crappy headphones my good Sennheisers are at work but um, when you clean out a console you're not just clearing out all the crap you're also clearing out the uh, lubricants and uh, what helps with the contacts to work so once that all got washed out, I started using it and I've heard having a lot of issues. This is the next phase of what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Deoxit Gold G5. I was recommended this uh, to use this as to help recondition a lot of the contacts inside this mixer. So I'm rather than I've seen a lot of YouTubes and guys just grab them and just start shooting it down in there. And the problem with that is you've got to get past. There's a little screen over the faders that you have to try to get to. Well, you're just hosing this stuff all inside, which means if you get any more dirt, it's actually getting stuck in there. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do another tear down. And from there, I'm going to try to individually clean all these because after this, I'm going to see what can be, what is going to continue working afterwards and what is going to need replaced on this mixer. Um, I'm hoping not too much. Most of I'm having issues with most of the EQ section is working great. My auxiliary section is working great. I haven't had any noise issues. All the issues have been with the gain knobs, and the faders, pan uh, knobs have been working great, and uh, my routing section here has been working relatively well. Um, there's a minor, minor issues in the groups and the main mix. The bulk of it, faders, and the gain trims. So we're going to take this thing apart and see if we can clean it up. Kind of hear that breakup and you really hear it with the gain knob. You just... It's that popcorn sound you don't like. No. It just... Yeah. And I've got it. Take it out of there. See, same thing in all the channels that do it. Some channels either... You guys know that. You guys know the little, little finger tap to get the channel to work again yeah we don't want to do that anymore but I'm gonna go through we're gonna take this thing apart and I'm gonna try to go through every single channel and hose it out and see if we can get some more life left out of this so
It looks like... Want to listen. The faders are still not quite there. But the gain knobs. Those came back. I got no crack, but no pop. Those are doing exactly as they should. All right, so I actually took this thing out. I hosed it out quite a bit. And I let it sit and drain for a while. One is just too far gone. So it did bring back some of the channels. I'm pretty impressed. Um, one's far gone. So last night I used the mixer on at Canoodle Studios and used it through a couple of shows to give it through its paces. I was fairly impressed. Uh, channel one's bad. Not a whole lot I can do. The fader's just too far gone. But I was able to use pretty much every other channel that I needed to, and I had little no issues. None of the game pods gave me any issues. Um, the faders do feel a little rough, but I didn't hear any audio level when I was adjusting them. So overall, this stuff does work. Now the instructions do say, do not get it on your skin if you do wash it off. And as you can see, yeah, two nights ago I've used this stuff and my hands are still sore. Skin's cracked and dry. I've been using aloe vera, so definitely wear gloves when you use this stuff. But it does work, and uh, I'm anxious to try this stuff out with some uh, other projects I have. But overall, I'm gonna get a bunch more use out of that Mackie, and I'm quite happy about that. So uh, definitely, you guys uh, need to give this little fix a try, because it's definitely worth every penny that you pay for it. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to put some links in the description below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, also, check me out. I post all kinds of stuff on uh, the, my Facebook page, Audio Crazy. I also post uh, it's stuff on my Instagram. So, and that's, you can go and just subscribe to that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.